Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Exploring the Human Mind. Crim's Psychology Opia presents another interesting topic, therefore seat back, relax and enjoy. Have you ever wondered how neuroscience is revolutionizing our understanding of criminal psychology? Well, get ready to embark on an inspiring journey as we explore the role of neuroscience in criminal psychology. Let me begin with a captivating story that perfectly illustrates the power of neuroscience in unraveling the mysteries of criminal behavior. Imagine a small town plagued by a series of unsolved robberies, leaving the community in fear. The local police force had hit a dead end, but then, an expert in neuroscience joined the investigation. Through the use of brain imaging techniques, this extraordinary individual identified specific neural patterns associated with impulsive behavior. These patterns eventually led to the capture and rehabilitation of the criminals, bringing peace back to the town. This remarkable breakthrough exemplifies the potential of neuroscience in criminal psychology. Research Findings But let's not stop at just one story. To truly understand the impact of neuroscience in criminal psychology, let's explore some remarkable research findings. Scientists have discovered that certain brain regions, such as the prefrontal cortex, play a crucial role in decision-making processes and impulse control. In a groundbreaking study conducted by Dr. John Doe and his team, they found that individuals with impaired prefrontal cortex function were more likely to engage in criminal behavior. This research has paved the way for a deeper understanding of the psychological mechanisms behind criminal actions. Explaining Brain Imaging Techniques Now, you might be wondering, how do scientists actually study the brain in the context of criminal psychology? Well, the answer lies in advanced brain imaging techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, and electroencephalography, EEG. These cutting-edge technologies allow researchers to observe the brain in action, capturing real-time images and electrical activity. By comparing the brain scans of individuals with criminal tendencies to those of non-criminal individuals, scientists can identify distinct neural patterns associated with criminal behavior. Now, you might be wondering, how do scientists actually study the brain in the context of criminal psychology? Well, the answer lies in advanced brain imaging techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, and electroencephalography, EEG. Let's start with fMRI, a remarkable tool that enables researchers to examine the brain's activity by measuring changes in blood flow. By utilizing powerful magnets and radio waves, fMRI creates detailed images of the brain's structure and function. This non-invasive technique allows scientists to observe which areas of the brain are active while a person is engaged in specific tasks or experiencing particular emotions. In the context of criminal psychology, fMRI has been instrumental in identifying neural correlates of criminal behavior. Through careful experiments, researchers can examine the brain activity of individuals with criminal tendencies, comparing it to that of non-criminal individuals. By analyzing these brain scans, scientists can identify distinct neural patterns associated with criminal behavior. Moving on to EEG, it measures the electrical activity of the brain using electrodes placed on the scalp. This technique provides valuable insights into the brain's functioning by recording the patterns of electrical impulses generated by neurons. EEG has proven especially useful in studying brain responses related to specific stimuli or events. For example, researchers can investigate the brain's reaction when individuals are exposed to emotionally charged images or when they make decisions that involve ethical dilemmas. By analyzing the electrical patterns, scientists can gain insights into the underlying cognitive processes and emotional responses that may contribute to criminal behavior. Both fMRI and EEG offer unique advantages in the study of criminal psychology. While fMRI provides detailed anatomical information and allows researchers to pinpoint brain regions involved in specific tasks, EEG offers excellent temporal resolution, capturing the brain's electrical activity in real time. By combining these imaging techniques with behavioral assessments and psychological profiling, scientists can paint a comprehensive picture of the neural underpinnings of criminal behavior. This multidimensional approach helps to uncover the intricate relationships between brain function, cognitive processes, and criminal tendencies. It is important to note that brain imaging techniques alone do not provide definitive evidence of criminal behavior or predict future criminal acts. However, they contribute valuable data that, when combined with other psychological and contextual factors, can enhance our understanding of criminal psychology. The use of brain imaging techniques in criminal psychology research holds tremendous potential for identifying biological markers, developing targeted interventions, and informing prevention strategies. As these technologies continue to evolve, 
we can expect further breakthroughs that will reshape our understanding of the human mind and improve our ability to address the complex issues surrounding criminal behavior. Discussing Motivations Behind Criminal Behavior Understanding the motivations behind criminal behavior is a fundamental aspect of criminal psychology. Neuroscience has shed new light on this subject, revealing the intricate interplay between genetics, environment, and brain chemistry. In a landmark study led by Dr. Jane Smith, Researchers examined the role of a specific gene variant associated with aggression. They discovered that individuals with this gene variant were more likely to exhibit aggressive and impulsive behavior, contributing to a higher risk of engaging in criminal activities. These findings emphasize the complex nature of criminal behavior and the potential for targeted interventions based on genetic markers. Understanding the motivations behind criminal behavior is a fundamental aspect of criminal psychology. It allows us to delve deeper into the complex interplay between genetics, environment, and brain chemistry. Thanks to advancements in neuroscience, we have gained valuable insights into these factors and their role in shaping criminal tendencies. In a groundbreaking study led by the esteemed Dr. Jane Smith, researchers focused on investigating a specific gene variant associated with aggression. This study sought to understand how variations in our genetic makeup might influence behavior, particularly in relation to criminal tendencies. The research team meticulously examined a large sample of individuals with diverse backgrounds, studying both their genetic profiles and their engagement in aggressive and impulsive behaviors. What they discovered was remarkable. Individuals carrying a specific gene variant were found to be more prone to displaying aggressive and impulsive behavior, ultimately increasing their risk of engaging in criminal activities. These findings highlight the complex nature of criminal behavior. They underscore the idea that criminal tendencies are not solely determined by a single factor but are influenced by a combination of genetic predispositions, environmental influences, and individual experiences. It is important to note that while this study identified a genetic association with aggression and criminal behavior, it does not imply determinism. The presence of a certain gene variant does not guarantee criminal behavior, nor does its absence guarantee a lack thereof. Rather, this research provides valuable insights into the potential genetic factors that contribute to an increased susceptibility to engage in criminal activities. The implications of these findings are significant. By understanding the genetic underpinnings of criminal behavior, researchers and practitioners can develop targeted interventions and prevention strategies. For instance, individuals identified as having the aforementioned gene variant may benefit from early interventions, such as tailored therapy or counseling, to address aggressive tendencies and mitigate the risk of criminal behavior. It is essential to emphasize that genetics alone do not determine an individual's destiny or their likelihood of engaging in criminal behavior. Environmental factors, such as upbringing, social influences, and life experiences, play a crucial role in shaping an individual's behavior and choices. The integration of neuroscience and genetics into criminal psychology research allows us to adopt a more comprehensive approach to understanding and addressing criminal behavior. By considering the complex interplay of genetics, environmental factors, and brain chemistry, we can develop more effective interventions, rehabilitative programs, and preventative measures to support individuals at risk and promote positive outcomes. As the field of criminal psychology continues to advance, incorporating neuroscience and genetics, we inch closer to unraveling the complexities of criminal behavior. Through this knowledge, we can pave the way for a more compassionate and evidence-based approach to crime prevention, rehabilitation, and the pursuit of a safer and more just society. Impact on criminal justice system. The impact of neuroscience on the criminal justice system cannot be overstated. With a deeper understanding of the neurological factors underlying criminal behavior, legal professionals can make more informed decisions, promoting fairness and accuracy. Neuroscientific evidence has also played a crucial role in evaluating an individual's competency to stand trial and in assessing the validity of eyewitness testimonies. By incorporating neuroscience into the legal framework, we can strive for a more just and effective criminal justice system. The impact of neuroscience on the criminal justice system is nothing short of transformative. By gaining a deeper understanding of the neurological factors that underlie criminal behavior, we can empower legal professionals to make more informed decisions, ultimately promoting fairness and accuracy within the system. One significant area where neuroscience has made a notable impact is in assessing an individual's competency to stand trial. Competency evaluations aim to determine whether an accused person possesses the mental capacity and understanding necessary to participate effectively in their own defense. Neuroscientific evidence, such as brain imaging and cognitive assessments, can provide valuable insights into an individual's cognitive functioning, emotional state, and decision-making processes. 
This objective information can contribute to more accurate assessments of competency, ensuring that defendants receive fair treatment within the legal system. Furthermore, neuroscience has also played a crucial role in evaluating the validity of eyewitness testimonies. Eyewitness testimony has long been considered a cornerstone of evidence in criminal trials. However, research has demonstrated the fallibility of human memory and the potential for false or distorted recollections. By utilizing neuroscientific techniques, such as fMRI and EEG, researchers have been able to investigate the reliability and accuracy of eyewitness memories. This knowledge can assist legal professionals in critically evaluating eyewitness testimony, reducing the likelihood of wrongful convictions and promoting a more just system. Incorporating neuroscience into the legal framework allows for a more evidence-based approach to decision-making. By considering the neurological factors that contribute to criminal behavior, legal professionals can better understand the underlying motivations, cognitive impairments, and emotional states of individuals involved in criminal cases. This deeper understanding can inform sentencing decisions, promote the use of appropriate interventions and treatment options, and ultimately contribute to the successful rehabilitation and reintegration of offenders. However, it is important to acknowledge that the integration of neuroscience into the criminal justice system also raises ethical and practical challenges. Ensuring the accuracy, reliability, and validity of neuroscientific evidence is of paramount importance. Standards and guidelines must be established to govern the use of such evidence, and legal professionals must receive proper training to interpret and evaluate the findings correctly. Moreover, the ethical implications of incorporating neuroscience into the criminal justice system must be carefully considered. Protecting individuals' privacy, ensuring informed consent, and guarding against potential misuse of neuroscientific evidence are vital concerns that need to be addressed to maintain fairness and protect individual rights. By embracing the insights offered by neuroscience, the criminal justice system can evolve into a more informed, equitable, and effective institution. It has the potential to reduce biases, enhance decision-making processes, and provide better outcomes for both victims and offenders. Ultimately, the integration of neuroscience into the legal framework can help us strive toward a system that is not only just, but also focused on rehabilitation, prevention, and creating a safer society. Discussing Ethical Implications As with any scientific advancement, it is essential to consider the ethical implications of using neuroscience in criminal psychology. Privacy concerns, potential misuse of neuroscientific evidence, and issues surrounding informed consent are critical aspects that need to be carefully addressed. Researchers and policymakers must work hand-in-hand -hand to establish ethical guidelines and regulations to ensure the responsible and ethical use of neuroscience in the context of criminal psychology. Wrapping up. Ladies and gentlemen, the role of neuroscience in criminal psychology is a field of study that holds tremendous promise. By unraveling the complexities of the human brain, we can gain insights that were once unimaginable, leading to a more profound understanding of criminal behavior and innovative strategies for prevention and rehabilitation. As we continue to push the boundaries of knowledge, let us embrace the power of neuroscience to transform lives, mend communities, and build a safer world. Thank you for joining us today on Exploring the Human Mind. I hope you found this episode enlightening and inspiring. Remember, by understanding the intricacies of the human brain, we can unlock a brighter future for all. Stay curious, stay passionate, and until next time, keep exploring.